Hello. In the last episode we made something called a brush, but we didn't actually start to use it yet. What we're going to do in this episode is we're going to make a new class, and we're going to call it a stroke. Now, a brush is a definition for how we're going to be painting a specific dot, uh, a specific thing onto the map. Uh, and a stroke is simply a specific instance of a brush. So once again, it's not a mono behavior, it's just a class. We're going to need to have a system.serialize here. And we need a couple of things. We need a public int x and y, but we're also going to actually put the dx and the dy in here because that will let us turn. Uh, so over here in brush, we're going to go ahead and get rid of the dx and the dy. We don't need them in this location. We need them in this location. Now what does uh, the stroke do exactly? Well, we have a new function called iterate where we pass it a map maker and oh this also needs a brush uh, and what's, what it's going to do is it's going to say x plus equals dx, y plus equals dy and, uh, and then we're going to just go ahead and uh, use the brush like so so over here in MapMaker, let's go ahead and add ourselves a list of those. Actually, it doesn't have to be public, and we'll shortly be making both of these protected, but that's okay. For now, we want to be able to see them. So here in Update, what we do is we go through these strokes, and we advance each one of them one step. What did I call it? Iterate. There it is. And of course, that means that we have to actually go and define it. So let's go ahead and delete these. We don't need these anymore. But we do need to apply at the end of this function because the um, the brush paint function here doesn't actually apply anything. And that's on purpose. We only want to apply once per frame at most. So let's go into our editor here. Oh, we've got some errors. Oh, uh, yes. We... Uh, Where's the DX? Oh, don't need these. We can simplify this part, like so. And we need to define a stroke. And our brush, we're going to go ahead and see if we can drag this into that slot there. Nope. So we'll just create a new one. Uh, this will all be done automatically later on. Uh, we're only doing it manually just for testing purposes. Alright, so let's go ahead and see how that looks when we hit play. Doesn't look like anything. What happened? Well, you can actually see that it's progressing. It was moving across the map, but it's not actually changing the image at all. Our red isn't being painted. And there's a couple of reasons that might be. Oh, yes, there it is. We're modifying the pixels array, but I forgot to actually put it into the image. Foolish me. There we are, and you can see that now the brush stroke is working just fine. Pretty easy. So here's the key to this whole affair. What we're going to be doing is a stroke isn't always going to just process until it finishes. It's going to process for a while and then it's going to spawn another brush. So what we're going to do is here in stroke we iterate, right? We actually are going to want to have another function here in brush called uh, public int, uh, no, no, yeah, public int max iters. Max, max steps. Um, just call it steps. And over here we're going to need. Oh, that's a map maker. There we are. Stroke. Over here we're going to need public in steps. And we say steps plus equals one. And then we say if steps is greater than or equal to brush 
Steps. Then what we want to do is we want to spawn a new brush, a new set of these strokes. And there's this, this is going to become a lot more complicated later on, but for now what we're going to do is we're just going to create a clone of ourselves that's offset somewhat. So we're going to go ahead and say uh, stroke new stroke equals new stroke. And we're going to say new stroke dot x equals x plus 20. Uh, I guess I'll say x minus x minus 50 because it's progressing to the right. Dot y equals y. New stroke dot dx equals dx and new stroke dot dy equals dy. But we can take an opportunity here to change these like that. And then steps 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 <laughs> minus equals brush dot steps. Wow, I just suddenly lost the ability to type. Oh yes, and of course we have to specify that the new strokes brush is equal to the brush, and we have to add that to the maker. Like that. Now this is actually going to cause infinite recursion, because what we have now is we have it flying off the right hand side of the screen, but it will still continue to process. So down here when we do this x plus y plus stuff, we actually need to make sure that uh, we have some kind of actual pixel being painted. So what we're going to do is we're going to have brush.paint return a value. So we're going to go over here into this, and we're going to change it from a void to a bool. We're going to say bool painted something equals false. And then down here we're going to say painted something equals painted something and or or so that way uh, painted something will default will be true if we painted anything at all because as you might remember set color returns true if it's set a color so basically once we fall off the map far enough that we're no longer painting anything we're going to return a false and that will allow us to delete the stroke without um, uh, so that we don't have an infinite processing going on here. Uh, we're also going to have other situations where the stroke deletes itself, but for now this will work. Alright, now I'm not entirely sure that I coded that right, because this is the first take. Yeah. Uh, but let's go ahead and find out. Sorry, I panicked there for a second. I thought it was an infinite loop. Um, let's go ahead and try that again. Okay, so there it is. And you can see that we got a massive number of elements being spawned here. So the problem is that, um, stupidly, I made strokes equal to zero, or steps equal to zero. Let's change that to 20. There we are. Uh, so now our brush, oh, sorry, this, this is the one that's 20. This is zero. No, not 10. Zero. Um, so now it should be significantly more reasonable. And you can see that the elements are popping along, but not an infinite number of them. And I don't know if you can see this on YouTube, so let me zoom in. As you can see, we are in fact painting stuff here. Oh. Where did it go? There it is. We are in, st in fact painting stuff. This is really hard to see. I, why don't I change it so that it, instead of being 1024, it's only 256. And instead of the dx and dy being 5 and 3, let's make them 2 and 1. There we go. So, do you understand the very, very basics of how this is going to work? Obviously, we need to do a lot more work in making the brushes intelligent. That, however, will wait until next episode.